Hey there! Bob from Oregon's Constant Carter. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Seriously, let me know in the comments what's going on. Let's talk. Speaking of the comments, uh, DK had a question in the comments quite a while back and we answered it on the viewer question show, but we've delved back into it over the last couple episodes. His question was, hey, should I use Bigfoot Mycorrhiza if I'm using cultured? Are they the same thing? Are they different things? And we did get into this, that yes, they are different things, but really we kind of just dug into what mycorrhiza was and how it works and then how to use it, that sort of thing. We didn't really answer exactly the question of what mycorrhiza does versus what cultured microbe life and some of these other broad-based microbials do. And so I just wanted to, Scott did a little quick bit at the end of that thing we were doing that I didn't show. And I wanted to show you that it's only about a minute, but I thought it was interesting and I thought we need to get into what the actual answer is to the question. I didn't feel like we got that. So watch this. I'll talk to you after. So, but, but to the question though, absolutely, these are kind of two separate issues with the cultured and the, the Bigfoot to some extent. You They're very both. separate, but they cross over. Okay. And, and, and they, cultured crosses over to the Bigfoot realm. Bigfoot does not cross over to the cultured realm because they're not adding in the beneficial bacteria. So, and just not you or me talking, but the general consensus is that mycorrhiza does a somewhat different job in, within the, the plant ecosystem than our other microbials there. Oh, yeah. it's, well, it's, it's a different everybody thing. Everybody has a job underneath. So yeah. It's uh -huh. symbiotically working with beneficial bacteria and beneficial nitrogen fixers, phosphorus fixers. They're all working in conjunction with each other, and as they live and die, they become each other's food sources as well. So, no, I mean, diversity is key when you're putting microbials in, but fungal bodies and bacterial bodies are not the same bodies at all. So, so inoculations are different, time frames for germination are different, longevity of life are different, cycling is different. Mycorrhiza is living off of the plant, so as long as that plant's living and you're not disturbing it, that mycorrhiza is going to live. They don't live and die, they become one with the plant. Okay, was that interesting? Did you find that informative? Let me know in the comments about that and what else you might like to want to talk about. So uh, that's the show for today. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show is pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.